here we have another YouTube short to support your understanding. So when you look at an examination paper and you see the terms redistribution of blood, what does this mean? Well, you need to mention both of the words you can see. So vasodilation and vasoconstriction. Let's begin with vasodilation. So during exercise, vasodilation occurs, and this means that the walls of the artery move apart, making the diameter of the artery greater. This allows more oxygen and more blood to move through it, which is delivered to working muscles, which helps us meet the demands of exercise. Following exercise, vasoconstriction takes place, and this means that the walls of the artery move closer together, which in turn reduces the diameter of the artery, which means less blood and less oxygen can move through it. This is necessary because at this point, muscles do not require as much blood or oxygen.